Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Toyo no Kusaga. So today I have a little get ready with me. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look on my eyes. So this was supposed to be, well it still is, a get ready to, with me to go to work look. So this is a look that I would wear to work. Um, but you can take off the red lips. So in the video we did do a nude lip and um, so I transferred it to a red lip because I'm, I'm like, I just, this is what I do. Just is what I do. Red lips are me. So I'm going to be talking throughout the video. I actually, I think we did good today with the uh, get ready with me. Like I wanted to be able to chat with you guys and not really just do a voiceover like I always do. So I was able to chat and I really hope you guys enjoy the video. But if you want to see how I got this look right here, continue watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Toyo Nokusaga. So today I'm going to try and do a get ready with me, but I'm going to try and talk. But my house never stays quiet, so I'm going to try. But if at any time it gets loud, it's going to go become a voiceover. But I really wanted to try, you know, chatting with you guys while I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I already have moisturizer on my skin. What I used to moisturize today was olive oil, just regular olive oil. So for primer, I'm going to go in with my Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. And so I'm trying to get the most out of it because this is $36, so I cut it up to get the last use before I go purchase them. So I always advise you guys, if you spend so much money on makeup, just go ahead, cut things up, you know? Spent $36 on primer. I'm going to need to get the most out of your money. But I'm just going to put that all over my face because my I have oily skin and it's just... It doesn't matter if I put it in my T-zone or whatever. This is the only primer that I've seen work for me. So now we're going to go to brow. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. But um, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. And I'm going to be using that for my brows. But I'm taking this concealer in, from LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. I'm going to use that too clean up my brows. Okay, so I'm going to take this flawless concealer brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to use that to blend out the concealer. Okay. So before I go into my eyes, I'm going to go into skin just for a little bit, and I'm going to color correct. Okay, so my skin, I don't even know what's up. Um, everyone knows that about my story with Clinique. I feel like I've told everybody. If I haven't, I don't fit. did I put that video up? I don't think I ever put that video up. But I might make a story time as to why Clinique is not the best brand. <laughs> But I, just because I spent so much money on it and I want to get my money's worth, I used it again. And so my skin started acting up again. You know, $100, that is a lot of money, you know, to be spending on some skin stuff that don't work, you know. So I tried to use it. I'm so hungry, guys. That's my stomach. But I tried to use it again and my skin just messed up and I decided to just throw it in the trash and forget about the money that I spent on it even though it was a lot of money I'd rather throw it away than continue letting my skin suffer because I wanted to get my money's worth so I'm going to take the Clinique color corrector in what is this I don't think it has a color it just says orange corrector and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to place them on those dark marks and spots that the products left on my face and the only reason I'm putting them on right now is because if I put it on right before I put my foundation on, I'm going to have to wait for it to set. So I'm putting it on right now so it can set. And so when I put it on my foundation, it doesn't really blend in with the product. Every time I do this, I'm just like shaking my head like, why? <laughs> why? A product that's supposed to save your skin just messed it all up. But we're working on it in 2017. <laughs> we're gonna make it go away again. All right, so I'm also gonna be wearing a, sh I'm gonna be wearing a strapless top. So I'm gonna also be doing my neck, which is this area. I have extreme 
chest acne like it's the most annoying thing ever which is why I, why I don't wear low cut tops if you guys know you know I don't wear low cut tops because of my chest acne so I'm gonna use the color corrector on that as well just because I'm wearing a strapless top I don't think anybody knows this about me though I don't wear I don't think they know it's as severe as this like the acne like it wasn't as bad as this like all I had were dark marks on my neck and it was like easily I could wear a low cut top without being without feeling insecure about the acne but I don't know like once a year or something I have this flare up and I just get all these acne spots again and it's just like dang I'm like what is it but we're gonna fix it in 2017 <laughs> Oh lord. Alright, so taking my beauty blender, I'm taking the pink one, yeah, and I'm going to blend this out. I've been really trying to stay away from using the Morphe 35 Oil palette, but it's like, it has every color that I need in it. Like, I've been trying to just venture out and use my other Morphe palettes, but it's just a really, really good palette. With all the basics and everything but today I'm gonna use the 35 N palette <laughs> just because you know I can't keep using the same thing in every tutorial like, I'm gonna be doing just like a basic cut crease type of thing I'm using the 35 N palette this is what it looks like so pretty is it not I'm really I'm not a matte girl so I don't usually use matte but today just for you you know what I mean so I'm gonna use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer all right so I'm gonna let that just dry up I'm not gonna set it with powder usually I used to set it with my Laura Mercier powder but today I'm not so for that I'm gonna be going in with I want to go into my Okay, guys. I'm just gonna cheat and go into this 35 O palette real quick, just real quick, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm going to take this little brown right here. This, it's like just as a transition color, and also to set like under my brow. I'm gonna take this brush here, and I'm going under my brow and setting that concealer. Blend it out, then I'm gonna go into. <clears throat> I'll just close this palette because I'm gonna keep going into. I'm going to go into this little color right here. It's kind of like a really kind of like skin tone. Just gonna use that as my transition color. Then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush here. The, no, this is a Wet n Wild brush. These brushes are 50 cents and y'all sleep on them. So next, I'm gonna go in. I don't want too dark of a brown just because this is work makeup so I'm gonna go into this like chocolate looking color right here and I'm gonna place that in my crease make sure it's like really concentrated right here in my outer crease and then just blend it to the middle but I don't want too much product here just enough here I really really got it so I'm gonna take that wet and wild brush again and I'm gonna blend everything together blending it all out <clears throat> now comes the fun part the cut creasing part for this I'm gonna take on color again it's too wide but it's fine and I'm gonna take that color brush that I used to clean up my brows all right so I'm zooming in for you guys and I'm gonna close my eyes here and I'm just gonna press down I'm gonna start here so I don't mess up but basically you're trying to cut your crease you know what I mean? This is basically it. You just... Okay, I think I've cut it pretty much. If you mess up, you're fine. I'm still gonna go in with the actual shades that I used in my crease just to clean up. But yeah, 
looks good. I'm gonna go back into that 35N palette and I'm gonna use this like really nice vanilla frothy cappuccino looking color right here. Right underneath, well not right underneath. I'm gonna use that, it's a bit creamy. Tap off the excess and the key to this is just to press down, shake it together, run it over. <laughs> I'm gonna press down and just place the product on the concealer. I'm gonna quickly do this other eye and then I'll be back. I finished this eye off camera. Let me blend that out. I'm not really loving how that block is looking in there. But I finished this off camera, so I'm gonna show you guys how I got it. I said the camera wasn't recording but i switched the colors i'm not going for this one anymore because i put some product in there that didn't agree with it so i'm going in with this kind of peachy light color right here in the 35n palette and i placed that on my lid already so i'm just going to press some more in layer it's like lighter than the other color but not white so after that i'm going to go back in with my blending brush and I'm going to blend it out so it's not messing up my crease area. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with that same chocolate that I used in my crease earlier. Oh, I didn't show you guys. This chocolate color. Not that color. This color right here. And I'm going to take that and just place that in my crease again, but more outer than inner. I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy blending brush from Morphe, Morphe and I'm gonna blend that in to the eyeshadow. Just going to the shade and just blend that in. If you see like it's not creasing no more, like it's not cutting your grease, feel free to place more shadow on there. Alright, so after this, I did my wing liner. We're gonna pray that this wing turns out like this because this wing is popping, is it not? I haven't done a wing liner in, I don't even know, it's been a while. So, for this to happen, this was a miracle. So, I'm gonna just try and really, really wing out this eye. So the lashes I'm using today is the blue packaging lashes, the ones that come in this box right here. And I'm using Wispies. I'm going to go back in with the liner and I'm going to cover up the lash glue and the lash band. I hope you guys can see. I'm just going to go over the lash band. Another thing you can do is if your lashes are dirty, first of all, clean them. But if you don't really have the time to clean them, just cover it up with black eyeshadow and it should look fine. Be careful not to mess up your liner. Alright. So I've done that. And now we're going to go into more in-depth. I'm going to take this angled crease brush here from elf and i'm gonna take that just really really chocolate dark brown right here i'm gonna use that to really really blend out that outer crease real quick just real quick real quick and i'm gonna take that and then go into that blending brush and i'm just gonna blend 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 i'm taking it this way now because i want that side to be defined because I'm gonna add some black. So I'm gonna take this brush. I don't know where this is from. This was a, I think it was a Ben 9 brush, but I'm gonna take this black that's inside the 35 in palette. I'm just gonna dot the brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna create just like a short line from the liner. And I'm just going to take that 
and go up with the brush that I used previously to blend out that black so it's not as much and that's it so we're done with the eyes we're gonna go back to face so I'm taking this elf foundation brush no no this is the elf powder brush guys but this is amazing for foundation you can use it for powder even though I've never used it for powder but I feel like it's also a really good powder brush as well but for my foundation I'm going in with the is this the new one this is the new one this is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation and i've already primed and color corrected my skin so i've prepped primed everything and i'm gonna take the foundation and i'm gonna just press it into my skin and we're also gonna take it down to our neck and our chest so let me zoom out for you guys so you guys can also see that method I'm gonna go in with fawn but the thing is i used to use fawn as my highlight color all the time but it's like i've been using something different lately so i feel like it's just too light so i'm gonna take that and mix it in with beautiful bronze just to create a really really good highlight color for me not too dark not too light just perfect i'm gonna use that i was trying not to use any brush but to take this concealer brush from morphe so now we're gonna zoom in just so you guys can zoom down my chest and i'm gonna go in and just clean up the liner taking my beauty blender i'm using the black one now and i'm gonna take that and i'm just gonna all right so I'm gonna go into my Ulta contouring kit. You guys know this is my absolutely favorite contouring kit in the. I just messed up my makeup. When you're too excited, but in the whole world, I'm taking this and I'm gonna take this brush from angled blush brush from Elf, taking that goddess bronzer, which is the darkest one, and I'm mixing it with that golden bronzer. These two dark ones. Tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna go. First of all, introduction. <laughs> And I'm going to go from the top of my ear to the middle of my cheek. Like, do you guys see this? Do you see this or not? Like, do I need to come over there? Come on this other side of the screen and fight you? Like, you have to see the contour. Like, I hate when people see, they say they don't see the difference. Like, you're not doing it right. Please, don't disrespect this contour kit. Anyways, I'm taking it around my forehead. Not too much, guys. Not too much. I'm going to take that beauty blender that I used to blend on my concealer. And take that all over my head. There you go. I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder. My absolutely favorite thing in the world. I had to break it, guys. I've been really into like getting the most out of the products that you use. Because this powder is $40. I could easily go and buy the crap buttercup powder that I absolutely I, I have a love-hate relationship I haven't realized I haven't I haven't found out what is actually wrong with it like sometimes I love it sometimes I hate it but most of the time I'm hating it like I don't understand taking that Laura Mercier powder and I'm pressing the powder into my skin like I really haven't found anything that not that I'm willing to spend so much on powders just to find the one that works when I'm already spending $40 on this one, you know what I mean? Well, we'll get to that level when I can be splurging money on makeup like that. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. contour kit in Turks and Caicos. Guys, I think they're discontinuing this, like, and it's actually really, really tragic because I went on their website the other day and it says buy these products before they're out and this was on it and I was like what are you talking about this is your best product other than your brushes like guys are you crazy I was low-key mad 
because I love this product so much. It was one of my first, like one of the first things that ever introduced me to contouring. Sorry, I'm making so much noise. But it's one of the first things that ever introduced me to contouring and I hit pan on everything. I bought four the last time I ordered it and it's lasted me a long time. Like I still have four of them even though I've hit pan. Like they're all breaking. And I was like, okay, I need some more. Should I go to Target and go get it? But I realized I missed their 50% off sale. So I'm have to get it at Target. But it was like on its way out. And I was like, you are kidding me. This is like the, this is what drew me to Elf. Like other than the brushes, like this is it. Why would you do that to me? Like I was actually really about to cry. This is like my holy grail makeup. But I'm using it as a blush today because I don't want anything too drastic as a blush. Like, it's so good, guys. So if you guys never tried it, I advise you before they discontinue it, try this. It's so good. Like, I'm actually sad to see it go. I'm taking this angled Morphe blush brush here and I'm just using it to blend everything together. Yeah, and I'm also going to use it to take away the excess powder off of my face. I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk highlighter and I'm going to use that to highlight my face. face with my mac fix plus right here i absolutely love this this a little goes a long way <laughs> i'm gonna do the last part of it which is my lips i'm going in with this brown liner from i don't know from apple cosmetics i'm just gonna go in it's in dark brown just gonna contour my lips real quick. I'm gonna go in with this Milani lipstick in a more matte. And it's an adorable. And I'm gonna let it get matte before I place the lip gloss on it. Back with the lip gloss. done with this till I figure out what's missing it might be the red lip like I just really might want to just do a red lip that might be what as you can see I decided to go for the red lip so the lip I use for this look I always lose this lipstick it's like really it's the MAC fashion legacy this is my go-to red all right so I changed the lip of course like I said in the beginning of the video I wanted to do a nude lip but I went ahead and changed the lip but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and how I got this look. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And thanks for watching. See you later.